Hello Virgo viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks or so. Now, the last reading I was doing, I did, I got an energy of, of a bit of a narcissist, somebody who their image was just everything to them. You know, they they went down a kind of hard path and now they're realizing that fame and, and fortune and money, you know, all those things, it's just it's not gonna buy them love. You know, they, they're kind of almost like had a shallow way of thinking about the world and viewing things. Could be a karmic situation too. Basically, they just went down a more shallow path that wasn't really in alignment with their soul. And now they're they're coming to this recognition that they messed up and they're, they're wanting to come back in. They're wanting love. They're, you know, it's like they focus so much on, on like a karmic person or on, you know, their career or just on, on worldly things. And now they're... You know, their love life is the one thing that's actually really lacking now. They're, they're wanting that again. But, you know, you don't want a narcissist. So let's see what the story is. We'll see, we'll see what the story is. You know, a lot of you, people that are drawn to my, my channel have new love coming in too. I've noticed that I get a lot of people drawn um, to my channel that are cutting out old patterns, cutting out abusive, toxic, you know, patterns of abusive, toxic, negative relationships you know, going for the same type of narcissistic or emotionally unavailable person again and again, just having relationships being a, be a battle. And I'm people like that are constantly drawn to my channel because I think I'm helping you guys like get out of that energy and, and you know, showing you the truth about this and, you know, giving that guys tips on, on how to cut those patterns out and start attracting better people. And, you know, I've noticed that the majority of people on my channel that are that are drawn to me have new love in their energy field, new love that's coming in. You know, even if you have this toxic ex, you you still make that decision. You can still say no to this if this comes back around. It's not like you're stuck, you know? Death card, which it does not mean actual death. It just means um, an ending to something. And then we have the Empress. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles. This is interesting. We have the Moon. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. It's a very interesting story we got here. Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Hermit, Chariot, King of Pentacles. It's interesting, the King and Queen of Pentacles. All right. Oh, I should probably actually let you guys see the cards, huh? That might be useful. There we go. That's better. Is that? Sorry. <laughs> there, that's the King of Pentacles right there. <laughs> I feel like it's a really mixed energy here. It's like you have pain and heartbreak and loneliness, but then you have like this Empress energy and like this. It's almost like a high priestess, like chariot kind of energy where it's like strength and confidence and I feel like you're coming, like you're leveling up. Like you might be going through a psychic awakening right now. Sorry, I'm trying to get this stupid thing to, I'm trying to get this leveled out so that you guys can see the cards. Give me a second. You might be going through a, um, a psychic awakening right now. Or something similar to it there's just this really mixed energy that I pick up from you guys and it could be male or female whatever your story is you know because we've got we've got the death card which I think is is the ending of some kind of toxic commitment but it's like I think it's that narcissist that I was channeling in the video I did a couple weeks ago the one that was just all about their image all about you know shallow worldly things you know, love was on the bottom of their priority list and they may maybe even settled for a karmic partner for some of them. And I feel like there's just like a mixed energy here. Like you know that you deserve better than this, but it was like, it was familiar to you. You know, it's still hard just being alone, just not knowing what to do next with your life. And I just, I sense a very mixed energy. It's like, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of healing that needs to be done, but you're also getting into your empress energy. This is it's, it's like this strong, like feminine kind of energy could be masculine or feminine, I guess, but, um, it's like this, this is strong energy, this, you know, intuition, um, abundance, confidence, finding yourself, being your true self. 
I feel like this is like, it's it's like the, the toxic narcissistic connection ended, but it's like not fully over. It's like it's still affecting you or they're still talking to you or you kind of feel like they're they're trying to win you back over. So it's like it's over, but it's not over. It's like there's still some drama there, but there's also some part of you that's that's rising above this. Like I think you're going through like a psychic awakening or you're having epiphanies about this connection maybe. You're stepping into your power and you're starting to really develop your intuition and you're you're just realizing that even though it's not fully over, even though you still have this connection with this person, it's like you're you're starting to not to not want it anymore. And you're starting to look at this connection differently. You're starting to see it was like a narciss narcissist and empath connection. You know, you're starting to realize that you want more, that you want your king or queen of pentacles. I feel like part of the connection with this person, I mean, aside from just loneliness and ha maybe having a history with them, it's like it was familiar. I think it's like as you step into the Empress and the Moon energy, it's like you're, you're this is like psychic energy. This is... Um, you know, epiphanies. This is this is developing your intuition. This is getting on your psychic spiritual path. This is rising above this connection and seeing it for what it really is. So it's like there is heartbreak here, but it's like you're moving through it. I think a part of what keeps you tied to this is that you put so much work into it. You know, Nine of Pentacles is usually reward after hard work, and it's like maybe this person like just let you down and betrayed you and was hot and cold, emotionally un unavailable. And it's kind of like you're almost afraid of letting it go because you don't know what comes next. You know, like you you don't know if you're going to end up alone, if you're going to find somebody else. You it, It's almost like you put so much energy and so much work into this connection that you're afraid to let it go. You're afraid of taking that next step to some degree. But your higher self is starting to take over here with these cards. So you're you're getting out of that energy of fear and you're starting to be like you know what I know I deserve better I know I don't want this anymore I know this was a karmic lesson I know that I can manifest my actual true love here I know that I can manifest somebody better than this um but yeah nine of pentacles upright would be you know reward after hard work and it's almost like you want that reward like you went through all of this chaos with this person and you don't want it to all be for nothing, you know? I think you're afraid it's going to be hard for you to love again. Like, you put so much effort into this that you're like, well, if I if I leave this, am I really going to be able to start over and date again and put all that energy into somebody new? Like, am I going to have trust issues and trauma after this connection? Like, what's what's in store for me? It's like this fear of the future. But, but as I said, you're getting, you're rising above this. Your higher self is taking over. Your intuition is... You're, you know, maybe having prophetic dreams. Um, your intuition is really starting to come through here. And your higher self is just taking over so that you're rising above this pain and, and getting through that pain. And, you know, realizing, yes, it does suck that you put so much into that and you didn't really get anything back. There wasn't a light at the end of the tunnel in this connection. There wasn't a reward for all your hard work that you put into this connection. It didn't work out in the end. But... You know, you're kind of seeing, you're seeing it from a different perspective. This is, this is like a, a higher self-intuitive perspective shift as well. You know, having these epiphanies, like realizing like, you know, like getting on a more spiritual path and realizing, you know, yes, I bled for this. I worked for this, but I, I can, I don't want it anymore. It sucks, but I don't want to put another minute into this anymore, you know, and getting in your queen of pentacles energy and, and kind of focusing on career finances, your soul path. Some of you are psychics and you're starting to get on your path as psychics too. You might even have a, might be doing the same thing I'm doing here for some of you. You know, really getting on your your soul path, your mission here, moving forward as hard as this is. So, you know, let go of the familiar, step into the, step, step into the fear of, step into the fear of the unknown. Oh my God. Step. <laughs> Uh, I make sense, right? Push yourself into the unknown. <laughs> you know, push past that fear. Eight of Swords traditionally is somebody who has all these swords around them. And they have an opening right in front of them. And there's a castle right beyond that. And they, they're just so focused on all the swords that they can't see that there's a clear way out right there. And I think that's the energy you've been in. But I think that you're coming out of it. I think that you're realizing there is an opening. There is your, your castle is right there. Your true love is right there. You know, you just need to stop going on this merry-go-round with this narcissist 
and really just go through this three of swords energy get through it get through the pain and the loneliness and clear these patterns out so you can manifest and love somebody much better than this you know and maybe go through a period of time where you just kind of focus on yourself on your career on your finances again i feel like i feel like a psychic awakening energy for a lot of people here like you guys are starting to meditate starting to use your intuition more kind of reaching that next level when it comes to your your soul path and and yeah you're you're recognizing there's there's your castle right in front of you you know you're not stuck in this energy like you thought you were. You have a choice. It might be hard and painful, but you have the option to step in this Empress Moon energy and, and cut this out. You know, you have options. You're not trapped, even though it feels like it. I think narcissists are so manipulative and they gaslight you so much that sometimes you forget that you're not trapped. Sometimes you do feel trapped by this because of like maybe words that they've said to you that have gotten stuck in your head. Um, just the kind of connection you have with the narcissist. Sometimes it's just, it's hard not to get stuck in that eight of swords energy, but your 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 higher self is coming through and rising above your mind and kind of saying like, no, the stuff they said isn't true. You know, the way they treated you, it's not. It's you're rising above all that. You know, you're 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 creating your own soul path now. You're getting out of this hermit energy, this loneliness, this this lack of action. You're moving forward really quickly with the chariot, and I think once you start having these epiphanies. Things are going to move quickly for you towards your King of Pentacles or your Queen of Pentacles. This is like a stable, mature, grounded relationship. This is somebody whose energy is going to match yours more. It's like equal give and take, you know. And at Pentacles is about money too. So it's like this person has their own money. They both, you know, both these people have their own money, their own career, their own hobbies, their own life. You know, it's two people that are just whole coming together. Um, you know, it's, it's a, just a more stable, grounded energy where this other connection was just more, more toxic, you know, uh, but yeah, once you start getting out of this eight of swords energy and you start looking around you and having these epiphanies and really getting on your soul path, like I said, I think that, you know, meditating and getting in that intuitive energy, I think it's, it's going to be really good for you. I think you might go through an awakening process where you just really start diving deep into maybe you've been wanting to do tarot readings or you've been you know experimenting with this with the occult or with psychic readings with this sort of thing and I think that's about to take off for you like you're about to go like this is what you're meant to be doing maybe I think you're about to go on the next to the next level with that like on your soul path something is just about to really take off for you regarding that you know and once you get out of that eight of swords energy and you look around and you get in tune with your higher self, your intuitive self, you're going to, you're going to have these realizations and you're not even going to want this narcissist anymore. You're going to be so far, you're going to rise above this loneliness and this pain really quickly, actually, because you're going to start having this perspective shift where you look at it and you're like, you know what? I don't even, I'm done. Like you're not even going to be attracted to them anymore. You're going to, something is going to click and you're going to look at them and they're just going to be dead to you. Like they're just, it's going to be like, no, that's over. Like, you're, you, you know what I mean? Like, you're just not going to want that. You're going to move forward rather quickly once you start getting in that energy. And what you're moving forward to is your soul path, um, career, financial abundance, and also your person. Someone that's mature, loyal, stable. Show me this new person. Three of Wands. Yeah, power. Um, motivation here and you know I, I channel keep in mind that I'm channeling your stories like if you're drawn to my channel and you're watching me then usually if you're watching me consistently I'll start channeling your story more and more so this energy is ultimately up to you like you guys could go back to the narcissist and in two weeks when I do these readings again I might get that story on my board you know like you guys are back with the narcissist or you could go forward on this path and I might you know I'll be getting a completely different story you know about you with your king or queen of pentacles it's this energy is up to you it's not like the cards are just telling you like oh how it is it's like this is your energy this is what's going this is this is the story this is your story it's your destiny it's it's you know the world is your oyster it's up to you you have two paths here what path do you want to go down you want the same old familiar energy with the narcissist or do you want to go down this soul path and it can the unfamiliar can be scary Especially going through a psychic awakening at first, that energy can kind of be intense. It can be really intense. You can think you're going crazy at first. Like it, it, it can come flooding in sometimes. It, it can be terrifying. But, you know, you have something more stable here, more grounded, more real. So 
So that path is, it's ultimately up to you. Seven of Wands, yeah. Tower reversed. Hmm. It's almost like you're saying, like, no more chaos, no more of these tower moments, no more of these three of swords moments, no more of these this heartbreak, the, the narcissist empath story, the, the beauty and the beast story, the same old, same old, like, no, no more. You're defending yourself more, you're defending your your sacred space more, your intuition, your higher self, you're, you're, you're loving yourself more, you're protecting yourself more. You're not willing to have tower after tower after, you know, these heartbreaks, these, these dramatic you know, failings. You're not willing to do this anymore. You're you're wanting more. You're wanting something stable and loyal and grounded here. You know, you're tired of being in that devil energy, the addiction, the patterns. You want to break free of that now. Yeah, you're tired of breaking you want to break free of that. You want to you want to move forward. Knight of Pentacles, hangman, new perspective. Publicity. See, like I said, I think some of you are meant to be doing this. I think some of this this might be your soul path for some of you. Page of Cups, love offer. Anything really quick about the new person? Ten of Cups, that's good. Abundance, love, that's like completion. That's like your person, you know? Knight of Swords, someone who's loyal, grounded, making vows to you, making promises. Abundance, financial abundance, shared abundance, helping each other out financially. Page of Swords could be also a message. Five of Cups, you know, you gotta be willing to let this narcissist go, though. Yeah, because it's not it's not going anywhere. It's still no communication or, or pride or stubbornness. It's not going anywhere with a narcissist. Yeah, it was just a heavy burden for you. Could be a fire sign for some of you too. Ten of Pentacles. Ah, it's too many cards at once. I didn't mean to. <laughs> but yeah, you have abundance with this king or queen of pentacles. Like you have you have a new life here too, Six of Swords, you know? You you have something more more real, more stable, more just something better, you know? So the path is yours. You got two paths ahead to choose from. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um all donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it adds up quickly. My PayPal link is right below. And if you want a paid private reading, my contact info is below is, to, is below too. And uh, please subscribe, share, like, thank you.